Hello, I'm Rishu from Just Tutors. Today we are going to learn about fractions. So we have a warm-up question here for you. So let's read the questions. The counters are shown below. How many counters are there? So you just count the total number of counters that are 12. What is half of 12 counters? Half of 12 is 6. Now, what is a quarter of 12 counters? A quarter will be 3. Now let's move forward here. So what is a fraction? You know, something written as numerator over denominator is known as fraction. The top number is known as the numerator and the bottom number is known as the denominator. So a fraction can be defined as numerator over denominator. The number at the top is called numerator and the number at the bottom is called denominator. Following is why to write a fraction. Fraction is equal to numerator or denominator. Now let's come here so denominator tells the total number of parts a whole is being equally divided into and the numerator tells us the number of part being used out of the total all right now so in this example square is divided into four equal parts out of which one part is shaded that means there are four equal parts and one part is shaded so the shaded part that is used is written at the top and the total number of parts is written at the bottom that is four now if we say like the number of non-shaded part or the fraction of non-shaded part here is three quarters now let's move forward here so here basically we are learning about half half means dividing a whole object into half let's say sometimes you say half of the chocolate so what does that mean half of the chocolate means if let's say you have a complete chocolate you divide it into half so this is a pizza here yeah? so when you divide this pizza into two equal parts that is half so this is first half and this is the second half now let's come here what about quarter quarter is something when a whole piece or when a whole is divided into four equal parts and let's say if one part is used and the whole is divided into four parts so we say it as one quarter one quarter is also read as one fourth or one upon four so they are basically the same thing just different terms now let's come here now we are talking about three quarters so three quarters is something when a whole is divided into four and out of the, those four parts three parts are used so when a whole is divided into four equal parts and three of them are taken together then they are known as three quarters let's move forward here so here uh, we have some more fraction the fraction here we are talking about is one-fifth so a bar is divided into five equal parts and three of its parts are colored now so if it's divided into five equal parts that means the denominator is five here if three parts are colored if three of its parts are colored so it will be written as three-fifth if we talk about the colored part colored fraction so it will be three-fifth now each part of the bar shows one-fifth let's come here here the total bar is divided into 11 equal parts if it's divided into 11 equal parts if we talk about one part it will say one eleven or one over eleven if we talk about the fraction that is colored we'll say eight over eleven because eight bars are colored here now let's move forward here so different meaning of fraction so here what we are doing is like R was given three parts out of four equal parts of a chocolate okay the colored part was given to R now three chocolates of the same size as R is to be divided equally among four friends Arin, Ayan, Anuj and Arnav okay now there are three chocolates and they have to distribute it between four people here now let's move forward let's see how we'll do it so if we talk about so from each chocolate there will be one part that each person will get so four people are there so we can say art and share is one quarter from first one quarter from second chocolate and one quarter from third chocolate same way for Ayan, Anuj and Arnav 
Now let's come here. So each friend was given a three times, like, like uh, one quarter, add one quarter, add one quarter, that gives you three quarters. Okay, it means three quarters can be explained in three different ways. Three parts out of four equal parts of an object, one quarter thrice, which means one quarter at one quarter at one quarter, which also means three times one quarter. Now let's come here. So we have some practice question. You can pause the video and you can try these question. Once you're done with the question, you can check your answers from here. If your answers are correct, pat your back. You did a great job. So thank you for watching this video. For more, please visit justtutors.com. Thank you.